Hello everyone, today I will discuss the lesson 6 in financial management which is the working capital and the financial decision. In this lesson, we will learn to evaluate a company's interest rates based on its stage of development. We can identify which factors influence a company's working capital management decision. Identify the four main areas of variability of working capital management. And we can calculate a company's working capital. What is cost of capital? It is the rate of return that a capital could be expected to earn in an alternative investment of equivalent risk. When we say credit rating, it is an estimate based on the company or a person's history of borrowing and repayment and available financial resources that is used by creditors to determine the maximum amount of credit it can extend to a without undue risk. The cash conversion cycle is how long a firm will be deprived of cash if it increases its investment in resources in order to expand customer sales. Evaluating interest rate is the management of working capital takes place in the short-term decision-making. These decisions are therefore based primarily on profitability, cash flows, and their management. Many criteria go into the management of cash flow and the management of working capital, including the evaluation of appropriate interest rate. The interest rate most commonly used in working capital management is the cost of capital. The cost of capital in a financial market equilibrium will be the same as the market rate of return on the financial asset mixture the firm uses to finance a capital investment. In other words, a company cost of capital is the cost of obtaining funds for operation through the sale of equity or debt in the marketplace. In market, investor will determine what return they expect from providing funds to a company. The return expected on debts depends upon the credit rating of the company, which takes into action a number of factors to determine how risky loaning funds to a company will be. The return expected from equity also involves a number of factors usually centered around the operation of the company and its prospect for profitability. Some conversional rates of return expected for various types of companies. It includes startup seeking money, which is 50% to 100%. Early startup, which is 40% to 60%, late startup, 30% to 50%, and mature companies, which is 10% to 25%. When evaluating short term profitability, company may use measures such as return of capital. ROC is shown as a percentage determined by dividing relevant income for the 12 months by capital in employed. Fair value is enhanced when if the return of capital of which result from a working capital management exceeds the cost of capital which result the, co the capital investment decision. ROC measures are therefore useful as a management tool in that they link short-term policy with the long-term decision-making. As mentioned, a working capital decision are made with the short-term in mind. Thus, working capital policies aim at managing the current asset, and the short-term financing, such as the cash flow and returns, are acceptable. Decision criteria that focus on the interest rates include debtors, management, and short-term financing. When we say debtors management involves identifying the appropriate credit policy. Example is the credit terms which will attract customer. 
such that impact on cash flow and cash conversion cycle will be offset by increased revenue and return on capital. Interest rates can affect this decision because of the time value of money. If inflation is a high level or there are opportunities for gun because of lack of capi working capital, a firm will more than likely have a stricter credit policy. The short-term financing involves identifying the appropriate source of financing. Given the cash conversion cycle, for instance, inventory is ideally financed by credit granting by the supplier. However, it may be necessary to utilize a bank or loan or to convert debtors to cash. Another possible solution to use services from companies sell outstanding invoices to raise working capital for their clients. Obviously, interest rate will play a vital role in determining whether an option such a bank loan is viable for obtaining short-term financing. Working capital is the amount of capital which is readily available for one organization. That is working capital and the difference between resources in cash are readily convertible into cash or the current asset. And the cash requirements or another term is the current liabilities. As a result, the decision relating to working capital are always current. In addition to the time horizon, Working capital decision differ from a capital investment decision in terms of discounting and profitability consideration. They are also reversible to some extent. The working capital management decision are therefore not made on the same basis as long-term de decision. And working capital management applies different criteria in decision-making. The main consideration are cash flow, liquidity, profitability, or return of capital, which as a cash flow is generally the most important. There are decision criteria. One is the cash conversion cycle. One measure of cash flow is provided by the cash conversion cycle. The net number of days from the outlay of cash or for raw material to receiving payment from the customer. As a management tool, this metric makes explicit the interrelatedness of decision regarding invest investors, account receivables, and payables and cash. Because this number effectively corresponds to the time that firm's cash is tied up in operation and available for other activities. Management generally aims at the low net count. And the return on capital, the ROC, the most useful measure of profitability is return of capital. The, res the result is shown as a percentage determined by dividing relevant income for the 12 months by capital employed. Return on equity shows this result from the firm stockholders. Firm value is enhanced when if the return on capital which results from working capital management exceeds the cost of capital, which results from capital investment decision as above. ROC measures are therefore useful as a management tool in that they link short-term policy with the long-term decision-making. What is credit policy? It is another factor affecting working capital management and it includes buying a raw material and selling of finished goods either in cash or in credit. This affects the cash conversion cycle. Identifying varying condition, it is a management uses policies and techniques for the management of working capital such as cash inventory, debtors, and short-term financing. Decisions relating to the working capital and the short-term financing are referred to as working capital management. This involves managing the relationship between the firm's short-term asset and its short-term liabilities. 
The goal of working capital management is to ensure that the firm is able to continue its operation and that is sufficient cash flow to satisfy both maturing short-term debt and upcoming operational expenses. Management will use a combination of policies and techniques for the management for working capital. The policies aim to managing the current asset and the short-term financing such as the cash flow and returns are acceptable. There are four main areas of variability that must be managed. Manage cash management, inventory management, debtors management, short-term financing. When we say cash management, identify the cash balance that allows for the business to meet day-to-day -day expenses but reduces cash holding costs. Inventory management identify the level of inventory that allows of uninterrupted production but reduces the investment in raw materials and minimizes reordering costs and increases cash flow. Besides this, the lead times in production should be lowered to reduce a work in process. And similarly, the finished goods should be kept on a low level as possible to avoid overproduction. When we say debtors management, it is identified the appropriate credit policy. Example is the credit terms which will attract customer such that any impact on cash flow and the cash conversion cycle will offset by increased revenue and hence return on capital or vice versa. And lastly, the short-term financing, it identified the appropriate source of financing given the cash conversion cycle. The inventory is ideally financed by the credit granted by the supplier. However, it may be necessary to utilize a bank loan or to convert debtors to cash through factoring. Working capital is a financial metric which represents operating liquidity available to business, organization, or other entity, including governmental entity. Along with fixed assets such as plant and equipment, working capital is considered as a part of operating capital. Net working capital is calculated as current asset minus current liabilities. It is derivation of working capital that is commonly used in valuation techniques such as discounted cash flow. If current assets are less than current liabilities, an entity as working capital deficiency, also called as working capital deficit. A company can be endowed with asset and profitability but short in liquidity if its asset cannot readily be converted into cash. Positive working capital is required to ensure that a firm is able to continue its operation and that is sufficient funds to satisfy both maturing short-term debt and upcoming operational expenses. The management of working capital involves managing inventories, account receivables, and payables, and the cash. Current uh, Calculation is a current asset and current liabilities include three accounts which are the special importance. These accounts represent the areas of the business where managers have the most direct impact. But what are they? Current accounts re receivable, inventory, and accounts payable. These values can be readily found on company's balance sheet, the current portion of debt, is critical because it represents a short-term claim to current asset and is often secured by the long-term asset. Common types of short-term debt are bank loans and lines of credit. An example, imagine a company has a accounts receivable of 10000 current inventory that has a value of 5000 and accounts payable of 7000 7, We can find working capital by... 10,000 plus 5,000 minus 7,000 equals the working capital is 8,000. An increase in working capital indi 
indicates that business has either increased current asset or has decreased current liabilities, for example, has been paid off some short-term creditors. The benefits of working capital management is can improve company's earning and profitability through efficient use of its resources. Management of working capital includes inventory management as well as management of account receivable and account payables. The objectives of working capital management in addition to ensuring that the company has enough cash to cover its expenses and debt are minimizing the cost of money spent on working capital and maximizing the return of asset investment. And that's all for our lesson. Thank you.